Le développement durable, Sustainable development is a uh, notion which is uh, very present in geography, but at the same time it has been criticized by many geographers, and yet it could play a greater role in this discipline. How is the notion used by geographers, and how could it be used more, put to greater use in this discipline? University geography, is it driven by school geography? Well, there is a big discrepancy between school geography as it is taught in schools and secondary schools and university geography. Sustainable development has been increasingly taught in schools starting in 2004 and especially 2009 when it was inserted in the curricula for secondary education. It is a leitmotiv for curricula in the secondary uh, school. It is a way to interpret the world, spatial organization of societies, use of natural resources and social inequalities. Now, this approach combines uh, players and scales in order to show the implementation, the limits, and underline the multiplicity of sustainable development types. School taught geography was fueled by university geography with publications, which uh, started appearing in 2004. Sustainable development became a recurrent feature of geography taught in universities because it is an element defining the society background, which is very important in the uh, education program and research programs. One geographer is predominant in this field, Yvette Verre, in her textbooks, she analyzes the notion, decomposes it, and shows the various scales, type of environment, type of space, and she shows the contradictions uh, in the notion. Very few geographers have published uh, extensively on sustainable development. Most of the time, the approach is partial, more social or more environmental, but never both, and their approach is rather critical. Sylvie Brunel published a book in the uh, Cussege line on sustainable development, except it's a pamphlet against sustainable development. For her, the ideology was put on the, under the limelight after 9-11, 2001, to compete with development, and it gave too much priority to the protection of planet Earth. Geographers uh, study situations uh, of non-sustainability, situations that cannot be sustained. If we want to look at Augustin Berck and uh, Santia Goragobin's books, Luis Tayem de Maz uh, has a different approach, showing that sustainable development is a way to for the states to position themselves on the geopolitical level. Durability, is it a new concept for university geography? I share my uh, colleagues' uh, criticisms, but I believe the notion should become a concept. Durability is a concept that should be integrated in the discipline and also in the sustainability studies. Geography has some advantages because it uses scales and time at the s together, and it adds scales to those of local and global. It may constitute, therefore, an interface between uh, the science of nature and the science of society through the concept of environment. Man is therefore placed at the center of the geosystem. It also sheds light on the governments through the analysis, the concept of territory and the geopolitical approach, and it differentiates the spaces depending on their location and their type, because it is impossible to use the same model everywhere. Geographical analysis provides a diagnosis for spatial situations of unsustainability or non-durability. It also adds a lot to geography because geography and sustainable development come together on the uh, multidimensional and multi-scale approach and a complex approach where sustainable development can become a tool to diffuse geography and open up new perspectives because it is a transdisciplinary object which uh, encourages uh, operation, a better operational characteristic with the idea of a continuous improvement seen as a process of change but interpreted as a geographic dynamics element. 
Now, one case analysis, uh, the uh, natural park of the Valencia Laguna in uh, Spain, it is a natural area, but the space raises questions of uh, durability because uh, the uh, people living around the lagoon have as are asking questions regarding the protection of natural resources and the natural environment. This lagoon is, based, is located south of Valencia, third town in Spain. It is the first park in the uh, area, created in 1986, made of three entities, the lagoon bordered by a uh, band of uh, forest-covered dunes and uh, rice uh, fields with the canals that come into the lagoon. Therefore, there is a uh, hydric system which is both complex and entropized. On the picture, on the left-hand side, you see the passage here to uh, make the water from the lagoon to flow into the sea and it can be closed or opened by the rice growers, therefore controlling the water level in the rice fields and the lagoon. We also have uh, a uh, pond which was recreated because in the 90s the uh, dune uh, band had been uh, almost uh, removed, but thanks to uh, local protests and local funding, the dunes were restored. The bottom right hand side, the woods along the uh, dune band. This is a place where the population of Valencia go very. Uh, happily, and they are very fond of this park, but this park is uh, endangered by several environmental issues. First of all, it is not sufficiently maintained and valued. There are tensions between uh, the uh, urban pressure of the uh, town of Valencia, the naturalistic pressure for the environment, and also the problem of sweet water flow because uh, sweet water is used for agriculture, for leisure, for town dwellers, and this is considered as a priority over the local environment, the natural environment, and there is also a problem of pollution. For a long time, the canals served as sewage for uh, domestic and uh, industrial uh, black waters and also uh, the waste from the rice growers, and therefore the uh, canal water has become entropized. There are not enough uh, fishes. A new system is being built all around the park to uh, uh, depurate the water, and at the bottom left-hand side, the picture is showing the marsh portion, which has been uh, dedicated to an experiment of phytodepuration. There are several dynamics present. Uh, the relationship between the people of Valencia and the uh, lagoon is very important. Is durability and uh, about nature preservation thanks to phytodepuration, dune restoration? Or is it about all of the geographic dynamics which come in friction with each other and uh, lead to durability? Durability can be considered as a geographic dynamic working against unsustainability dynamics, but also as a form of uh, mediation, the expression of relationships between a society and the environment. Like Augustin Berg used to say, durability is more a path rather than something carved in stone based on the participation of citizens, cross-border policies and the anchorage in the local environment.